Hey, welcome to Fully Friday week six. Uh, today we're going to try to make a creature sound, okay? Uh, like a low growl. Um, I don't have a tiger or lion or, or access to anything like that. So I either rely on sample libraries or making my own out of uh, kind of unorthodox means. So today I've got a cardboard box and a ballpoint pen. I know, amazing, right? Okay. I've also got three mics. I've got uh, one mic inside the cardboard box, one outside, and I've got a, uh, another contact mic. Now in Foley Friday week one, I bought, I had actually bought two contact mics and I only used the one with the suction cup on it for that watermelon. But this one came at the same time and was actually much cheaper. And it's, uh, it's designed to be a guitar pickup mic and kind of just clip to the inside of the sound hole. Uh, but that works great for this corrugated cardboard. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to perform the Foley sound now, and uh, all I'm going to do is I'm going to scrape my index finger along and try to get uh, like a low brrr sound, right? And then I will also use the uh, ballpoint pen and, and draw at various speeds and uh, and see what kind of sounds we can get and what we can work with in our audio editor. All right, let's check it out. Some of these are pretty cool, actually. <laughs> Poke through. All right, uh, we'll import that into uh, to our audio editor. We'll uh, maybe stretch it out, pitch it down. I should put that on the t-shirt, I say it so much. And uh, we'll see what we can get. As always, anything uh, usable that I get, I'll put up on freesound.org. And uh, yeah, let's go check it out. All right, so we've got it in. I've already uh, edited them down. So uh, let, me, let me play what we ended up with, and then I'll, I'll talk a little bit about what I did and some other stuff. All right, so here, here's the sounds I ended up with. And uh, I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with those. Like, listening to it, uh, now that you've seen it and are thinking about it, I, I think you can still kind of tell what it is. But uh, it, it sounds pre pretty good to me, like, like a low creature growl, like a dragon in a cave or something, maybe. Um, uh, so let's start with, uh, let, let me talk a little bit about uh, some stuff I learned, like when I was recording it. Um, one, and I think you saw this in the video, I didn't care for the fingernail sound. I think there was a way I could have done it better, but the way I did it was just lame. I, I way preferred the ballpoint pen sound. Uh, second, having a contact mic was huge on this sound. Um, I had a, on this one, it was a Cherub guitar pickup mic. Uh, the model number is WCP60G. It's seven dollars on Amazon, uh, so it's not it's not professional quality by any means, but it was it was hugely helpful in this sound. Uh, I, I had some pretty good quality condenser mics inside and outside the box, but what really tied it together and gave it that body and that weight was the contact mic. Um, here, what you're looking at, I, I mixed it down to mono, uh, so you I can't really show you what the difference is between, but uh, but I, I really liked having a contact mic, so I'll just tell you. Um, let's see, some simple stuff just to share with you. Uh, this is my finalized track here. Let me zoom in. Um, I did just a little bit of time stretching. And real quick, in Reaper, uh, this is slightly hidden, so I'll just show you in case you don't know about it. Uh, if you go into Item Settings, right-click, go into Item Settings. I'm sorry, Item Properties. Um, you've got these uh, Take Pitch Shift 
time stretch mode, okay? And this, this essentially picks the algorithm you work with whenever you do time or pitch shifting, okay? So uh, by default, it's, it's set to project default and you don't have any other options. Um, and I believe the project default, if you haven't done anything, is, is Elastic 2.28 Pro, uh, but it is normal, okay? So what you can do is you can, you can choose this and, and you've got these, uh, for lack of a better word, I guess, sub-algorithms of this main algorithm? I don't know what a good way to say is, but you've got all these options here, okay? So you can definitely scroll through, find one that works best for the sound that you're working with, okay? Um, normal is probably great for just about all the time, but I ended up switching to uh, one of these uh, preserve form format low pitch sounds. I can't remember exactly which one I used and I've changed it now. Um, so, so that was great. I, I had to use that. Um, also, and this I, I didn't know before, um, I ran this through Isotope Ozone, which I, I've used a lot. I typically use it with uh, music production or if I have to like master a sound real quick and dirty. Uh, but I've never done it with Foley type sounds. So I thought, you know what, let me, let me look through the presets, see what they got. And in the post and broadcast section, they actually have a couple Foley presets. Uh, Foley add presence, control low end, lower chatter. And this is what I want, went with because I wanted like a deep rumbly sound. Um, and a narrow image, some FX tracks and stuff. Anyway, that's really cool stuff. Uh, and by the way, uh, I did want a low rumbly sound. So if you're, if you're gonna use these sounds in anything, um, I, left, I left a lot of low end in because I didn't know if you wanted sub bass or you can EQ it out and add your own in, uh, but I just wanted to give you some options. So uh, just friendly warning, there might be way too much bass in there, okay, if you're, if you're not monitoring properly. Um, so just a heads up. Uh, let me close this. And then, of course, ah, yes, of course, I made a kick drum sound because I'm me. Why, why are you not? There we go. Um, so I like I bumped the cardboard near the the contact mic, and I got like this hollow sound. So I, I made like a hollow kick sound. So you know, nothing amazing, but it works. Um, if you want to see how I did that, uh, really these first three are the important ones for this sound. Um, Pro Q, uh, since it was a bump, there a lot of low end garbage, so I, I filtered that out. I did a double filter because I really needed to get stuff out. A um, little bump where I wanted the kick drum to sound, right about 60 hertz. And then some, I had some nasty frequencies here, especially after I compressed it, so I, I EQ'd those out. Um, Saturn gave, gave it a little bit of, gave it a nice bite, nice kick. And then, uh, and then I just squashed the heck out of it with a compressor and, and brought it up. Um, that's really all I did for that sound, so I don't know, not, not a ton to talk about. Um, but actually, since let, let, let me say this, since there's not a lot to talk about, uh, I think this kind of emphasizes the point where Foley is, is really performance oriented, right? Um, uh, especially, if, especially if you're like actually making Foley for a movie or something, you got a movie screen in front of you, you're performing these sounds, okay? And uh, these sounds, I really didn't mess with that much because I, I just kind of got the sound I was after. You know, I had to EQ it a little bit, um, did just subtle processing, but if, if, you, if you know what you're listening for, it still sounds like a ballpoint pen on cardboard, uh, corrugated cardboard. But uh, if you don't know that, I, I think it's a great sound. Anyway, really happy with that. Hope you learned something. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, please like and subscribe. And I will see you later. Thanks for watching.